characters are key components in any story. How they interact with other characters, react to events, and how they change are the features which give a story interest. To understand a character, we need to explore something about what makes them the type of person they are. This will include their background, their physicality, their voice, their motivation, their attitudes. The following techniques will help to explore and develop these aspects of character. These techniques are not exclusive to each other. A technique to develop movement may well also lead to an appropriate voice or attitude for a character. Writing in the role of a character gives some insight into the vocabulary that character might use and what they feel are important things to talk about. In this first example, a girl is writing in the role of a first-class passenger on board the liner Titanic. Nine of my bags on the ship and only seven have turned up at my room. I can't think where the other two may have got to. Darling said he'd sort it out for me. Anyway, I'm dining with the captain tonight and there's to be a grand ball tomorrow so I shall write to you in a couple of days and let you know exactly how it all went. Take care, Ellen. Yours, Martha. If writing is difficult, pupils can speak in role. This could be seen as an interview for a job where the question could be, tell us something about yourself. In this second example, the boy is answering that question in the role of Jack from the story Jack and the Beanstalk. And, uh, and that's about it really. Uh, we've also, I've also got this friend of mine called Albert who lives in the village who's some about 10 miles down the road, though I don't see him that often. I don't see him that often, no. I, I think I saw him last month for, for not very long. What else do I do? Mm. Oh yes, I like to grow vegetables, lots and lots of them, lots and lots of them, particularly beans and, uh, oh, and carrots and onions and potatoes, lots of them as well. Uh, there's also that little issue with selling the other cow we had the other day. Yes, we, we went down, I went down to the market and sold him and, and uh, I didn't get very much in return though, so uh, uh, thank you very much anyway. In Roll on the Wall, members of the group contribute what they know about the character. This is then written on a board or sheet of paper. This will be based on what the character says and does, but will also include what we know based on the reactions of other characters in the story. Here the group members are putting down what they know about the character of Linda from the play Blood Brothers. What do we know about Linda? Oh, well, we know that she's a tomboy because she plays around with the boys a lot. And also at the beginning, uh, Mickey says that uh, she may be a girl, but she's all right. So she's a tomboy. Yeah. She's um, not very shy because um, at the uh, start of Act Two, she's on the gate shouting that she loves Mickey, so she's quite outspoken. I know she's supportive as well because yeah. um, when Mickey's in prison, when he comes out, uh, she takes care of him and makes sure that he takes all of his medicine. Mm. And she's attractive because um, both boys fall in love with her. Yes. We know she's from Liverpool as well. Oh, yeah. Because of the strange. street name yeah. and that. Yeah. The technique known as icebergs is similar to Roll on the Wall, but it focuses on what information lies beneath the text. Like a real iceberg, there is far more beneath the surface than there is above. It is similar with real people and characters in stories. What the text tells us on the surface is only part of the story. The hidden part, or subtext, gives us a lot more information about a character. In an iceberg diagram, evidence from the text is written above the line and the subtext is written below. In this example, the group is exploring the character of the little pig who built his house out of bricks. At the same time, he was quite happy to let his two little brothers build houses from straw and wood when he knew that it wouldn't work, and he didn't warn them. Well, because he did rescue the other two in the end, but it's just him that took control of the situation, perhaps that suggests that he's actually manipulating the other two. So perhaps he's something of a control freak. And perhaps to gain that control, he actually t 
tall dwarf about his brothers. So, in that case, he'd be quite devious. Centering is a technique to develop the movement of a character. It requires the character to focus all their movements on one part of the body. In this improvised session, the group are developing characters from A Midsummer Night's Dream. The girl in red is playing Titania, the fairy queen, and is centering her movement on her hands. The boy in blue is playing the part of the boastful character, Bottom, and is centering his movements on his chest. The boy in brown is playing the part of the impish fairy, Puck, and is centering his movements on his nose. The boy in white is playing the part of Snug, the shy and meek joiner, and is centering his movements on his knees. Gestures are large movements of the body or parts of the body to emphasize words or to communicate thoughts without words. Mannerisms are small habits a character might have which make them different to other characters. The variations possible with a human voice are similar to those with a musical instrument. Power, volume, pitch, high and low, and pace, speed. Different variations will be appropriate for different characters and it is worth experimenting. Don't worry my dear, there is absolutely nothing to worry about. I will seal to everything, okay? Don't worry! Thank you dear. Um, sorry for you are back far later than we expected. Your father and I have been very, very worried about you. Your behaviour is unacceptable. I'm really sorry. It wasn't my fault. I, he made me stay out. There's nothing I could do about it. I tried to call you, but I didn't have any credit. So I can have some money, so I'll go get some credit. You see, I had to go to the shop because I had to get a new outfit because I'm going to a party tonight and everyone's going to be there. So I had to get new shoes to go with my new skirt and my new skirt didn't go with any of my tops so I had to get a new top. So everyone's going to be at the party so I can't look bad because everyone will know. And then anyway, even the Beckhams are going to be there. There she goes again. Another one of those stories about the clothes she wants. I wonder how much this one's going to cost me. Gotta go to another party. Another party. With her. In thought tracking, a character speaks, on their own, their innermost thoughts. Words which have very much the same meaning include soliloquy and monologue. One person speaking. This person is thought tracking in the role of Goldilocks. Oh dear, I think I might be in trouble. When I first saw the door, it wasn't locked, it was open. So I thought it was all right to go in. I just nudged it a little bit. It, it was open. And there was the smell of the porridge. Oh, it smelled so good. And Mum's is always burnt. I didn't think I was doing anything wrong. I didn't mean to ruin it. And the chair. Oh, do you think I'll get in trouble for the chair? I didn't mean to break it. I don't normally break things. I'm not a vandal. I was just... 
hungry and bored. I've just had such a long day. I just want to go to sleep. In hot seating, one person sits in the hot seat and the other people in the group ask questions of the character. The key feature is that the person in the hot seat should answer in role, that is using the voice, posture, gestures, mannerisms and attitudes of the character. They must also answer the questions honestly. In this example, so the person being hot seated things. is in the role of Maria from yes. the musical play West How Side do you Story. How about the move from Puerto Rico to New York? Um, I like New York because it is very modern. Um, it has electricity, cars, um, washing machines, not like Puerto Rico, which has none of this. Maybe the, the few odd vans, but nothing else. Um, New York is very modern and better for my family. Um, how do you feel about the Jets? I don't really know the Jets myself, but my brother does not like them and speaks very angry at them. But I don't know why, because they, they are the same age and it, it seems like they are interested in the same things. So I don't know why they don't get on, because I don't like violence. So do you have a good relationship with your brother? Me and my brother have a good relationship. But the success of hot seating depends on the questions asked. If a question can be answered in one word, it is a closed question. Open questions will ask for a deeper and more personal response. Open questions begin with words such as, what did you feel when? What would you have done if? What were your thoughts about? In collective role, several people can play the same character, but in different circumstances, so that aspects of the character can be drawn together. In this example, three people are improvising the role of Macbeth, but from different points in the play. The first plays the role at the beginning of the play, the second after the character has murdered the king, and the third after the character has also murdered his best friend. Oh, I tell you, you've got to get back home, Mom. Oh, yeah. What's that? Well, I've been a bit busy today. A few you? battles. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Oh, that's all right. Get back home, see the wife, and uh, yeah. Oh, good. Try to put some honours on us. Really? Who's from? Well, the king, you know. Oh, king right. <laughs> see. Yeah. See. Oh, I killed him. What? Yeah, I killed the king the other day. Well, I don't know about that. Well, you know, it was getting a bit old anyway. Yeah, it was going to go very soon. King. Well, the wife told me to at the same time. Your wife? Yeah, she told me to do it. There's nothing wrong. I mean, I'm going to be king. What? Is there a problem with that? Well, I don't know about that. King. What have you been up to? Well, <laughs> it's been quite a week. Really? <laughs> yeah, oh, you good. know, I killed my best friend. What? You killed your best friend? I had to do it. I... Oh, you can hardly talk. You killed the king, the man that represents our country. Hey, you went and killed Did him. Did you like the king? His wife well, told yeah. him to do it. My wife oh, told me to kill the king. I mean, come Did on. Did you like I mean, him? I... No, he wasn't a very nice person. Oh, well... Whereas killing your best friend, now I come had on. to do that. His kids were going to be king. How the hell are you supposed to kill your own... What? It doesn't make sense. You two are just a bloody camera. I don't know how you ever got sense to do that. Don't understand either of you.